Hi. Do you have a noisy fan in the laptop or do you have a noisy fan in the desktop computer? Maybe heating problems? Let's take a look to some advices and let's learn a little bit about it. Here I have two fans. One is the laptop's uh, noisy fan and the other is a desktop power supply fan. We will use the lesson to learn about them. I'm sorry I lost the video with where I make the recording of the noisy fan. So I got another noisy fan to listen to it and also to learn how to fix another kind of fans. So let's go to watch it. Let's connect it. Let's use this for practice and find out what is going on there. What we are expecting to find here is a hole with a pin and a lock. And sometimes there is a rubber cover for the hole, not this time. And the lock sometimes is plastic and is very easy to pop out. It's very nice to make a video with it, but as real life, sometimes we don't have the same lucky day, and this is a metal lock. If I try to open the fan, I will probably break it, because it's very soft plastic, and when they put it, they put it with a press machine, like the one who put the buttons in our blue jeans, and now it's hard to get out. What I'm going to do, to eliminate the noise of this uh, bumping up and down. Let's see if I can hold the pattern. This is making the snoring, the heat up and down. What I'm going to do is to put a little bit of lubricant and push the lock to the bottom. Today I have oil, but most of the, the time I don't have uh, the white silicone we use to make shiny the car dash. That's my best recommendation. For some reasons, I have to use this one today. Just a little drop. Mm -hmm. Leave it to take effect. Look at that, how it comes in and out. Let's leave it for a moment and we will make a test. Okay. Back to it. The label didn't help this time, but the rubber is out. There are several ways to get this little lock out. 
one is try to flip it out like this that will bend it a little bit and probably it will fly and I hope your room and floor is very clean because of the ways it's hard to find another way let's learn a little trick next trick is with a needle and a fiber if we put it down there pull the lock out and as you watch it it didn't jump to the sky first time you watch it in YouTube here write the date because whoever is coming behind are just the imitations magic tool okay this is the ring this rubber don't lose it Let's put this thing out. Now we can clean with alcohol all around. And when I said with alcohol, please pay attention. Some chemical paintings like the one that co uh, covers the copper could be sensitive to isophilic uh, liquids. So don't put alcohol on the widening but you can clean all the metal around Just a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. Take the air out. Without making a big mess. back to business a little bit of oil under and that's it up and down a little move Now it will accommodate when it works. Clean the excess. I recommend always don't use the finger, use toilet paper or napkins or something very absorbent. Okay, this fan is ready. Let's go with the laptop fan. If we pay attention, I push the fan up. Look the movement. Pay attention to this. The fan is going up and is hitting the metal. It's a scratch and that's the noise we hear.
what we can see around are some marks of the plastic scratching the metal hmm. here it comes the trick Just a little bit, because we don't want to get the same problem under the fan. Let's see if it is done. Okay, after the trick, it was touching a little bit down, so I push it on the side that I need it, just a little bit. And now, looks okay to me. Mm -hmm. Let's put it back to the laptop and let's see how is it going now. Noisy fan. Mm -hmm. Factory design defect. In the wonderful world of electronics repairing, there is not a rule about how to fix things or what is broken on the things. Anything could happen and there are different ways to solve the problems. I just showed to you three possible damage in cooling fans and some of the ways to fix it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks by watching it.